you must be born again. Hatemakers, crack music. You cannot see the kingdom of heaven except to be born again. Jumping into track two. Track two. We start off track one, problem statement set. The minister sets the tone. We get the history of our born right. and understand what we there to solve, which is abandoning our brother, abandoning um, ourselves. Yes, sir. Right? right? But now we jump in. And as I said to you, you know, offline, uh, our born, I'm like, when I listen to this album, I feel like I'm listening to a movie almost like a war movie mm, right. from beginning to end. And we start off right in gunfire. Come on. <laughs> you know jump, what I'm saying? We jump right, right in Climax. Right in the yeah. midst of battle. That's it. You know what right. I'm saying? And some of the best movies start off with that level of energy. Right. So this would be the, track two would be the equivalent in a movie to the action scene in, in, in track one. Now they go somewhere to regroup. Mm. And this is now, we now you know what I mean? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This Absolutely. is where we at now in track two. Born again. It's almost like, I mean, the name is self-explanatory, but it's about new beginnings. We heard, brother. Now it's like, I'm, I'm going to start to explain the new version of me mm. and, and how I got here from this Whoa. point on. Now, this is start my story. So let me ask you, Ross, from a production standpoint, right? Did how did this beat? even come about like how did you start with that, this one this is another one that that i don't even know if you remember this is another one that he heard and was like Yo, what's up with that um <laughs> what's up because i think i might have posted this beat on the gram one time he's like what's up with that drum with the crazy bass line mm. and then i think i played it for him in person and he started to drill to it right away mm. you know what i mean joel was here yeah and joel was here too yes, yes. and then <laughs> You know, again, what we talking about before, he was getting me so hyped. I'm like, shit, I got to give him this fucking beat. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, right. And he just, he, he married the, the, the like, it, it just all worked out, man. I can't, like, a, a lot of our music, right? yes, there's explanation behind it, mm. but a lot of it was like divine intervention. I can't mm. even explain it to you. It's like, even the way certain things came about with certain records, it wasn't planned. Mm. Again, like sometimes I'll be in there and I'll be working, I'm working on a beat and he might be on his way out from, from a previous session and I'll just hit play, just trying to finish up the beat and he'll circle back like, yo, what's, what's that? You mm. know what I'm saying? A lot of our records came about like that. So to me, I wouldn't really have it any other way because that just shows me that that was supposed to happen. Right. right. You know what I mean? Because right. it happened on so many different records that I can't call it like a, it was like a mistake or a fluke or a one-time thing. It's like it kept happening from record to mm. record, and we ended up here. And, and you know what I learned? To always stay on the gram and watch when Austin is mixed. <laughs> yeah. Yo, that's I'm telling you all the time. But listen, as soon as something come on, I'm sitting there listening to him like that. I send something to DM like, yo, wow, what's up? So <laughs> like, oh, you yeah. be on live? Yeah, as you make it? no, like, oh, you know, like just to keep my fans engaged, I'll. If I'm working on a beat, I might throw up a clip online, like gotcha. me actually, you making know, you know make putting the samples together and making mm. the beat. And he's heard a lot of those and been like, "Yo, what's that? Yo, I need that." Yeah, and I think um, a couple records on the project turned out like that, but we'll talk about that when we get to that. But a couple of records turned out like that from a grand post, mm. you know. But and I've seen, I, I was watching an interview that you did, us where you were talking about, I believe it was the, uh, the Dipset Anthem. Right. Where you were like, man, I, in, I was in a session and someone asked me to remake it. Oh yeah, recently. And, yeah, you was like, man, I couldn't remake it because it yeah. was something that I was feeling in real time. And you gotta remember too, man, that you, essentially they're asking me to go back to the mind of a 24 year old. Mm. And I'm, I'm 46, mm. probably 47 by the time this is, you know what I mean? Crazy. This is circulating. Wow. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. I had to remind myself, like, wait a minute, I know more than I knew back then, so I had to simplify my mind to be able to remake it. Mm. Strip away some layers, like, wait a minute, I wouldn't have did that back then because I didn't know how to do that. Mm. Right. So I had to do it X, Y, and Z, and, you know, I figured it out over time, but... Got it. So, 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 our born, you heard the track. You heard, you heard all the, the God scientists on doing this thing. You right. said, nah, I need, like, this is, this is yeah. me. So did you have... 
You had the bars and you knew what it was. Oh, that you, one was done quick. I never, I Ooh. never, I never that, had the that bars. Was done, that was done let me quick. tell you something, right? So the, so the thing, you know, I live upstate, so I got right. a nice ride. I got about an hour and 30 minute ride. <laughs> So I'm going up to Zakonic with this joint, just playing and playing, and I'm messing around with it, and I'm telling you, like, the next... I'm a morning writer. Okay. Like, I wake up, and it was like, da-da-da-da-da-da-da. Mm. And by the time, you know, noon came, beloved, received. I received glorious revelation. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. And, and then I came in, man, and it was like, the beautiful thing about that is, like, a lot of times when I'm in here... Joel Ortiz is in here, yeah. oh, and man. you know he's like, um, I have to speak on that because he's such a genius. Yo, the God is different, and he really gave me a whole different outline on how to do certain things. So normally, you know, you just write a rhyme and such and such and such. Like, nah, that's it right there. And I'm like that, mm. you know. And he simplifies it, but makes it so incredible. Along with Austin as well. So when I do a record, like Austin just doesn't make beats; mm. he produces. So what am I saying? In my mind, I'll have a rhyme, but it may not come in the way I wanted to come when I'm saying it. Mm. So I'm like, no, maybe you should take that out and put that in. Wow. And that's the genius of him. Yeah. It could be something as simple as a the, or what, or it, or that. No, take that and do that, and it just goes perfect. So our chemistry with that was just incredible. Right. God's a real orchestrator, man. Super orchestrator. And I tell you, Ars, when I heard the beat, you know, um, I played football growing up, right? It reminded me in Englewood when you was on the field, they, the the band used to come up from the high school. Yeah, that's what it feel like. <laughs> and I know, yeah. Dun, dun, and we dun, on the field dun, like, yo, dun, so you dun, getting hyped like you was homecoming. Dun, yeah. When I hear it, I'm feeling that. Oh my god. And that's the energy we had to give him at the top of the project because mm. we want to keep him awake. Right. You understand that we can't we can't drown him in pain at the beginning of the album. Mm. And even if we are drowning him in pain, the music got to be high energy. Right. We can't lower the energy that like that early in the album. Nah. Right. You know what I'm saying? So again, everything was strategic. Come on, man. Everything was strategic, and man. Dude, when we get into the bars of this joint, we I mean, when we get into the bar, the rhymes yeah. themselves, the lyrical ability <laughs> gets crazy. The yeah. odd, odd, like the like intelligent intellectual. I'm like, yo, I ain't even know that was that many odd words in the dictionary, <laughs> bro. Fallible in an order and measurable. Simultap. <laughs> Intercept. <laughs> You know, <laughs> like, yo, where is he going with this, man? Just, you know, just tapping into the mind, brother, just trying to just do something that, that's not being done to me mm. in, in, in hip hop right now. Right. It's somebody really taking the time out to think, mm. you know, and, and right. I really wanted to like, yo, let's, let's exercise the greatness of the mind. And, and what's so dope about that is called Born Again and in the record, he's explaining to you his new self. His new, you understand, like the new version of him, he's breaking it down for right. you in the song, which what, what makes that record dope to me. Mm. Again, everything is strategic. Everything, it's man. no, we didn't throw no waste out there. Like, right. yo, he took this verse off. We mailed in this hook. Right. This, is a, this is an ordinary <laughs> beat. We didn't do none of that. Like right. to me, I looked at it like this, man. Like it was a competition on the album in the sense of my music was sparring with him. Woo! So we had to, it was like, it's a, it's a fight. Like you listen, you hear the way he talked. When he first heard Born Again, I remember the look on his face like, yo, that we, what made you play that bass in there? Like when you get that and he just looked like he wanted to attack that beat. Mm. And it's a, you know what I mean? It's like a verbal sparring, which is dope. And man. we know he's a fighter. Right. Bar you know Genesis, bar God. Like, you know, you know we, we know the vibes, right? Yes, sir. And that's one thing I think I hate you, bro. And I was like, yo, when I'm listening to the album, I'm seeing you match the energy off the production right. and yeah. then off of who you share in that particular track with. Yes, sir. Right? right? Indeed. Now, there was something, until what you're saying, Oz, there was a, for me, and I'm, I want y'all to, of course, speak on this, I felt an emotion in one of the bars. Mm. I felt an emotion in one of the lines where you were talking about, you said, left for dead, the heat makers saved me. Now we're back, you bastards. Actual fact. Like. Actual fact. That, that take a certain measure of a man to be able to look at his brother right. and say, bro, you saved me. Like, what, it's, you, gotta, you gotta break that down, bro. I like, mean, what, you know, just, just, just in this game, Mm. You know, there's so much betrayal and just so much unloyalty mm. to find somebody that really believes in you, that you are greater than what you think you are. 
Like he put that in me. Like I feel invincible. Like <laughs> I feel like there's nothing I can't do. Come on. And I'm like, that's why I'm like, yo, you know, as he should, because left for dead. Like, he whether he knew it or not, he he was part of an untapped market that, to me, and again, this is me speaking. I'm not speaking for anybody else. I feel like the market that was untapped needed somebody like him to represent it. Mm. You know what I mean? The correct way. Mm. This is just again. This is just me speaking. I feel like. What I born brings to the table is a certain level of authenticity that is needed. Mm. You know what I mean? Like again, it's no waste. We didn't waste things on this album. He didn't rap about a bunch of nonsense. When you put that on, you're gonna learn something. You're gonna feel something. It's not. It's, it's just not. It's not wasteful music, man. Mm. That's the best way I could describe it to you. This is. This is all purpose. You know what I'm saying? All purpose. Whatever your whatever type of motivation you need, this is all right. purpose. And it's in it, and you can feel it. Right. right. You can absolutely feel it. And I like there's a certain um feeling you get when you meet a person because when you give a lot out to the world, right. like you a brother who gives your energy. Yes, sir. Right. You give your energy. It's always something when you meet a person who brings you energy. Right. Because typically a person who brings energy ends up depleted. Right. That's why we learn from the minister the the we have to continuously study when we're given right. because we got to continue to refuel yeah. or your mm -hmm. cup won't run it over. Right, mm -hmm. right. right? Yes, You're going to yes. end up depleted. You right. won't have much. But when you meet somebody like for like, someone that's bringing you that type of energy, it's a... In and we both, itself, we, both love, we both love music, man. <laughs> I think that's what it boils down to is that of course, you know, in any business is it, you know, finances are involved. You got to think about money if this is your profession. But I just love making music. Mm. And I love making music with people that have the same energy as I mm. do when it comes to the music. And his energy, on certain days, his energy is past mine. Right, right. So I need that sometimes. <laughs> and not even, you know, like, that's a great thing to me because sometimes Absolutely. I need that. I work with so many different artists that sometimes their problems become your problems. Mm. Yeah. And, you know, if your energy's not right, it's hard to make music. Mm. But when I born step into a room, it's like I'm recharged. I'm like, all right, cool. Let's work. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So Fire. I, the same way that he say, like, I might have saved him at a certain point, his energy is needed when it comes to me doing what I do. Wow. Long so man, we help each beautiful. other. You know what I'm saying? One hand wash the other. That's both a wash the face. That's a, that's a whole fact. So when, when it came to naming this song, like mm -hmm. when did you know that this would be the namesake of the album? Like Born Again? I did you 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 might you named that, didn't you? Like did you... Um, I'm trying to think. Um it was in the hook. Yeah, because it was in the hook. Okay. Yeah. No matter of fact, because even when you were writing to it, you kept referring to it as Born Again. Mm. So yeah, he had that he name had that. as soon as he locked into that beat, he I'm called me like, again. yo, I got born. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. You know what Ooh, I'm saying? Oh, my lord. My lord. And and us, because this when the production on this, the drums, I mean, this is this is right. next level. When did you know? Right, it's a militant, it's militant. feel. And you know, we, that's right. we, we drillers, man. So right. you know, it, it, it beats in you different. Right. When when it came to the conclusion, when it came to you buttoning up this beat, how did you know what was the last finishing touches, speaking from a production standpoint? Well, like, first of all, you gotta understand how I make music. I don't, and this might sound blasphemous to a lot of other producers, I don't I don't spend hours on music mm. because I believe the longer you mess around with it, the more you're messing it up. Mm. The initial feeling is what you chase. You don't go past that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you don't you don't go past that feeling because once you go past that feeling, it's not creativity anymore. Mm. Now now with thought, now you're thinking too much. When you think too much, you're not being creative anymore. Mm. Because now you put walls up. Cre creativity has no walls. You do whatever, whenever, <laughs> right? The minute you put a barrier on that, you're not creative no more. So I'm I'm saying all that to say the music that I made, it wasn't. We talking half an hour at most. Mm. I don't I don't sit and he'll tell you. You see me make music. I don't sit there with music and try to analyze what do I need because if I'm thinking like that, that means that time to move on. I'm thinking too much. Mm. Good music just comes to you once you do it. It's like it's almost like you fall into greatness. Like what what just mm. happened? And that that's how you know that. This this whole thing is a feeling. It's, I told him this before. It's not about a sound. Mm. You understand? Like we listen, we listen to music, and we we feel what happens in the music. 
we don't listen to it and say, yo, th- we should turn that down. or Because once you start doing that, you're not feeling the music. Mm. You understand? Like, I-, I don't know, man. Like, I've explained this to him many a times. We're selling people a feeling. We're not selling them a sound. You understand? Like, that's all we selling them. When you buy music now, you don't hold on to nothing. It's mm. nothing tangible. You don't even get a CD no more, right? Mm. So what does that tell you? What are we buying? We buying a feeling. So wow. if I don't get a feeling, what am I listening to? White noise. You understand? Like, this is a feeling. <laughs> this whole body of work is nine songs of different emotions handed to you. Do what you want to do with it. But we giving you the feeling on this project. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I, man, and this, what you giving... This type of hadith that God is dropping. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's different, Because it's, bro. it's like, and you can apply that across the board. Yes. Because how many of us got content, got things that we've overthought? Of you got course. people in corporate world that rewritten the same email three times trying to figure out the way. Right. And it's like, yo, speak straight words. Mm, it right. just is what it is, man. It's like when you, it. when you love somebody, right? You're not... You don't gotta go through the motions to think why you you. Just, it's just a feeling. Mm. I just know I love this person, and that's what it is. I don't gotta break it down in my head and figure out why. No, it's right, a feeling. Right. That's it. Sometimes the feeling is undescribable mm. because it's just a feeling, mm. and and that's why people pay for it because you can't duplicate that feeling. Mm. If I want that feeling, I gotta listen to that several times. Mm. You understand? So that's what we're giving people. We're giving people nine different feelings. That you get, like I said before, do do what you please with that. Mm. You love this song for that, use it for that. You love this mm. song for that, use it for that. You need to be motivated by this song, turn that on. And that's what we gave them mm. from record to record. Man, you sound like a medicine cabinet. I'm telling you, bro. Like, like the herbal joint. Not yeah, the, yeah. Not, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not the concoction. No, no, the herbal joint. The herbal, where you going in there and you no, identify what you different. need. No, that's, oh my God, that's next level, man. So we, all right, born again, let's, we're going to move on. Right. And again, Track I repeat, three. it was everything was intentional. Man. Everything was intentional. I don't want people to think we just do songs together. Right. Like we're intelligent brothers that can sit down and work shit out. Like you know what? <laughs> Maybe this should go here. This should go here. Let's use this for everything was intentional. And I, when they listen, I want I want them to listen with that thought in mind. Mm. Everything was intentional. Everything is done for a reason. Right. Man, let's do it. Let's move on to track three. As I liquefy off this ancient hibiscus, don't make a sound. As I prepare to expand, watch how I take the letter I, yeah, and break it down. Intelligent, intellectual, integrity.